During the night of ascension, several miraculous and wondrous incidents occurred, each of which illustrated the distinguished status of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. Among such incidents is the gathering of the noble prophets Alaihi Musalam in Jerusalem, where our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam led them in Salah. After this blessed Salah, the most eminent prophets, alayhim salam, rose to deliver speeches in which they praised Allah Almighty and recalled His mercy and blessings. In the end, the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam spoke of the unparalleled favours bestowed upon him and his Ummah. Firstly, Sayyiduna Ibrahim Alaihi Salam praised and glorified Allah Almighty. Then he said, All praise is for Allah Azza wa Jal who selected me as his close friend, granted me a vast kingdom, made me obedient to him and positioned me as a leader that people will follow. He saved me from the fire and rendered it cool, making it a source of comfort for me. Sayyiduna Musa alayhi salam followed praising and glorifying Allah Azza wa Jal before stating, All praise is for Allah Azza wa Jal who gave me the honour of conversing with him and selected me as a chosen servant by making me his messenger and granting me direct communion with him. He made me Naji, one who converses with Allah Azzawajal without the intermediation of an angel, revealed the Torah to me destroyed Pharaoh through me and granted salvation to Bani Israel. Next, Sayyiduna Dawood salam, praised and glorified Allah Azza wa Jal and said, All praise is for Allah Azza wa Jal, who granted me kingship, revealed the Zabur to me, made iron soft for me, subjugated birds and mountains for me and granted me wisdom and discernment knowledge of judgment which differentiates between truth and falsehood Sayyiduna Suleiman salam then praised and glorified Allah Azza wa Jal and said all praise is for Allah Azza wa Jal who made the winds the jinn kind and the humankind subservient to me he made the rebellious jinn obey me, making them construct large buildings and depictions as per my wishes. He taught me the language of birds and all other beings. For me, he caused a spring of molten copper to flow unto me. He conferred a kingdom the likeness of which will never belong to anyone else. Next, Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam praised and glorified Allah Azza wa Jal and said, All praise is for Allah Azza wa Jal, who taught me the Torah and the Injil. He granted me the ability to cure lepers and those born blind and to revive the dead with his permission. He raised me, saved me from the disbelievers and safeguarded me and my mother against the accursed shaitan until he had no influence over us any longer. After the eminent prophets finished, 
the leader of the prophets, the chosen one, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, praised and glorified Allah Azza wa Jal and said, You praised and glorified Allah Azza wa Jal. Now I will praise and glorify my Lord. Thereafter, he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, All praise belongs to Allah Azza wa Jal who made me a mercy for the entire universe and sent me to all of mankind as a bearer of glad tidings and a warner. He revealed a noble book to me which demarcates truth from falsehood and in which there is a clear explanation of all matters. He made my ummah the best of all ummahs which were sent forth for the people. He made my ummah which is the first in terms of entrance into paradise and the last in terms of arriving in the world, superior to all others. Allah Almighty expanded my heart and removed all burdens from me. He exalted my remembrance and made me the Fatih, opener and the Khatim, last. Upon hearing these unmatched merits, Sayyiduna Ibrahim salam addressed the other prophets alayhim salam announcing Bihada Fadalakum Muhammadun It is due to these excellencies that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has surpassed all of you. There is a deeper wisdom behind this incident. The other prophets alayhim salam mentioned their own virtues after praising Allah Azza wa Jal and thus demonstrated that encountering someone better than us should make us recall Allah's favours upon us and drive us to thanking to Him with the knowledge that the Lord who has granted that individual such a status He has also granted us blessings according to our respective worth Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam